Hi, I'm Angie and today we're going to try out a recipe that I uh, made the very first time in 2017 and at that point I didn't note anything down uh, when I made or developed recipes because I never thought I would use it again. Um, well, here we are. Um, so yeah, I really want to replicate it today and it is a peanut butter pretzel um, yeah, filling recipe for chocolate bonbons. Basically what we're going to do is we first make a peanut butter and then we add some pretzels. Um, there's only one worry that I have. So the peanut butter um, pretzel is very crunchy, which is really, really nice. It's like salty, sweet. It is a really good base. Um, but I am worried that over time, let's say two, three, four weeks later, um, the pretzels get soggy. So this is something that I will definitely um, keep an eye on. Um, I will not have this in this video, but if you check down the description, I will have a um, chocolate peanut butter pretzel lock in there and I'll just note down um, how the crunchiness uh, develops after two days, after a week and so on. So you might want to take a look at the description if you want to yeah, learn more about the crunchiness. I'm not worried about the shelf life itself. Um, they will be good for two or three months if you store them at a cool place. But yeah, it's all about the crunchiness. But we're not only making one layer, we're making two layers. So first, obviously, the peanut butter pretzel. And the second layer, um, I want to make a really silky smooth classic chocolate ganache. So we have a really nice and crunchy peanutty layer and a really silky smooth soft layer from the ganache. And um, all surrounded by a dark chocolate shell. And yeah, what could go wrong? Let's do it. First, I want to start with my ganache. So here I have 50 milliliters of cream and now I'm adding one teaspoon of glucose syrup. The glucose syrup um, sweetens a little bit and um, also just gives a really nice and uh, soft and silky uh, texture for our ganache. So that's really something I want to achieve with, um, with the ganache layer. Really soft, buttery, silky. And I'm going to heat this up and I'm just waiting until it's simmering. And here I have prepared one tablespoon of butter and 100 grams of chocolate. So I'm using a 78% dark chocolate here. I don't want to make this too sweet. So this is already simmering a little bit. Now I'm adding this in two or three steps. Actually, it doesn't look too bad, but I still have some lumps in there, um, which I will remove with my immersion blender. And this is how your ganache should look like. Silky, glossy. And now I put this aside and we move on to our pretzel peanut butter. Now we're moving forward to the peanut butter. So here I have 300 grams of peanut butter and I will add 50 grams of sugar because our ganache is not very sweet. So I want to make sure that we get some sweetness um, to the pretzel peanut butter. And now I firstly will make the peanut butter and afterwards I will add the pretzels. So yeah, let's start with the peanut butter. So this is where we're at right now. So uh, we have the peanut butter. Um, if you have a hard time with your blender, add a teaspoon um, of oil. Like in this case, a peanut oil would be best. And now I'm adding the pretzels. So we're starting out with a two to one ratio. And uh, yeah, we'll just see if this is too much or not enough. But yeah, I'll keep you posted. Okay, here we go. Uh, this tastes really really good, but I want to add a little bit of more sugar 25 grams more sugar So in total we have 75 grams of sugar um, because our ganache is quite bitter um, And I yeah, just want to counter with a little bit of sweetness So we make this one here a little bit sweeter the ganache is a little bit darker and more bitter So um, yeah, let's give it another go. So here we are um, and now we have to uh, let everything cool down. The ganache needs to cool down. Here the peanut butter pretzel um, needs to cool down and then we can um, pipe in our fillings. All right, our ganache is ready to go. I will not add a lot of ganache because I think the star in this um, is definitely the peanut butter pretzel filling. I also don't want to add too less, so that's always a hard thing um, when it comes to layers. This is really looking good. It smells really nice.
I like to give it a few taps so um, it just evens out a little bit. We're giving uh, those a good shake. And now I'm going to temper my chocolate and we add the last chocolate layer. One more thing to mention. So you will make more filling that you will actually need for one mold. But it's just not really um, yeah, feasible to um, yeah, get your blender going with only really the small amount you will need for your chocolate bonbons. So what I will do, I will just um, yeah, put them into a jar and will use them. I mean, like seriously, this one is good on any toast. Um, and this is just a regular ganache, so I will probably add them into muffins. Yeah, and so that's what I like to do with um, yeah remaining fillings because yeah, you will just not need all for one mold. All right, here we go. This is how they look. Let's cut one open and give them a try. Okay, I mushed everything a little bit together. It doesn't look too bad. This is my breakfast, by the way. This is a really good breakfast. So I would say you either use um, more sugar with your peanut butter filling or you use um, for the shells a milk chocolate or a white chocolate. I think a milk chocolate would be good um, and give a little bit more sweetness that way because um, it is quite bitter. Like the ganache is quite bitter. I would totally leave it as that and would just add a little bit more sugar into the peanut butter and I would be very, very happy. Like maybe add 100 grams instead of 75. So I think that's the only adjustment I would make with this one because they are really delicious. Approved. Thank you so much for watching as always. Um, I really really like them. Give them a try and if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below. Send me a DM on Instagram at chocolate spiel or yeah, if you need any tools, equipment, I have a bunch of items in the description below as well and um, yeah that's all. Have a good one. Bye.